Lord, in the name of Jesus, I seal this prayer with the blood of the Lamb. The full armor of God is upon this prayer line and upon this word and upon every single one of those at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be you and only you, Holy Spirit, the one that is speak through me. In the name of Jesus, I am a bond servant of Jesus Christ and it's only him and him alone who can do everything for us, in us and through us. So surrender, surrender. These are times of resting. These are times that we need to be totally at the feet of Jesus. These are times that we need to go into Psalm 23 and rest. Rest in Psalm 23. These are times that we need to go into a closet and seek his face with all our hearts. These are times that we need to open up our heart and say to the Lord, search my heart, O Lord. Bring and cleanse my heart, like David told him. Make, may my heart cleanse, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. Purify my heart, Lord. May a clean heart in me, Lord. Tell him, tell him, and surrender. There is no other way. There is no other way of living right now. There are many people falling off falling off because they are looking at what is around them because their faith is being gone because they are walking in fear and fear comes to destroy us fear comes to kill faith there is no faith and fear inside our body is either we move in faith or we move in fear and if we move in fear we move with a spirit of intimidation we have a spirit that comes from from the pit of hell to destroy our lives it will bring sickness. It will bring a whole bunch of stuff into us that will take us into the wrong place. And the Lord doesn't want that for us. The Lord wants to overflow us with his love. He wants to overflow us with his peace. That is a shalom. That is a shalom. That is a shalom that is coming from the Father's heart to invade us to take over us, and that's what he wants. And I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus to the four winds and upon your life, upon your family, upon every situation that you are going through. I declare and I decree shalom, shalom, the peace of God, that peace that superpasses all understanding upon your life, upon your family, upon your children, upon your marriage, upon everything that you do, in the name of Jesus, the word that the Lord is giving me um, for today, it comes from the book of Isaiah, and it's Isaiah 96. And listen to this word and meditate in his word. That's what he wants us to do. We need to meditate in his word. And it says, for us, for to us, a child is born. <laughs> to us, a son is given. He gave us his only begotten son as a living sacrifice in that cross of Calvary to pay a price for you and I, to pay a price for you and I. And he did it. He did it for us. Why did he do it for us? For the love that he has for us. And he says, and the government will be on his shoulders. Where is the government? In his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Everlasting Father, Everlasting Forever. He's our Daddy, He's our Abba, He's our Father, Prince of Peace. He is our peace. Rest in the peace of God. Rest in the shalom, the shalom, the shalom that comes from the Father. He says, all the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. There will be no end. So it does not matter what happened up there. When we walk in peace, what is peace? Peace is something that we need to activate. Peace. <laughs> is to walk in the middle of the fire in so much peace inside of us that we will walk through the fire and we will not get burned. 
Nothing will be able to touch us. It does not matter the intensity of the fire. It does not matter how big the fire is. That fire will not consume us or touch us because our mind, our body, our thoughts, our life will be totally consumed by the only one, the only one, the everlasting Father, <laughs> a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, the Prince of Peace will be with us in the midst of the fire. And that is our reality. So my question to you today is which one, what, who is your reality? What is moving you today? Where are you standing today? What reality are you living on? Because if you choose to live in another reality, you will be consumed by what's happening up there. So I call you to come into the reality of the living God, the reality of his word. He will never leave us or forsake us. He is with us. He will provide, he will protect, he will lead us. He will cover us under his wings. As Psalm 91 says, so I'm calling you to him. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, I ask you that you come into agreement with him, that you surrender your life, and this will be the best decision of your life. So pray this prayer with me. And if you know Jesus and you have walked away from his ways, he's calling you for you to stop running and come back to the Father. He doesn't care what you have done. He doesn't care the mistakes that you have done. He loves you unconditionally. So say, Lord Jesus, here I am today. I surrender my life completely to you. I ask you for forgiveness for every sin that I have committed, sins of omission and commission, sins that I have committed with my wrong choices, sins that I have committed with my body language with my words. Lord, I repent from the bottom of my heart. I know that the Father resurrected you on the third day and you are seated at the right hand of the Father interceding for my life. Today, I choose to break every covenant with the world, with Satan, with my flesh, with every word that has come out of my lips, cursing my life, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I surrender my heart to you, completely to you, I ask you to come inside my heart and live in my heart. Live in my heart. I make a new covenant with Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. The day that I die, when I open up my eyes, I will be in your arms. In Jesus' name I pray. Listen, the only true freedom that you will find, it will not be in sex, in money, in drugs, in drinking, in dancing, in nothing. Nothing can free you as the freedom that we have in him. We can be going and walking through the pit of hell. They will not be able to touch us because true freedom only comes from Jesus. There is nothing else that can free you as him is in him and through him alone. And his word says in, in verse 7, it says, of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. We are the children of the Most High God. We are walking in righteousness and justice. We are the righteousness of God in Christ. And it says, from that time on and forever, Forever, the seal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Who will accomplish this? Human beings? No. The seal of the Lord <laughs> Almighty will accomplish this. Who is he? He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's the God of the supernatural. He's the God that turns water into wine. He's the God of the multiplications. He's the God of the breakthrough. He's the God that opened up the ocean for his people to 
break every chain of slavery. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's the God that will come into your life and your situation and will bring you out of the pit of hell into his kingdom of power and righteousness and justice. He's the God of the impossible. He's the God that heals the heart in a way that nothing else will be able to touch you. He's the God of miracles. <laughs> He's the God that will give you a joy for mourning. He's the God that will take away and uproot out of you every root of rejection, every root of pain, every root of anger, every root of unforgiveness, every root will be dismantled by his hand. Seeking with all your heart. Seeking with all your heart. These are times of resting in him. These are times that he's calling us to seek his face. These are times that we need to be sacrificing time. Time with him. He wants us to become a living sacrifice for him. Become a carbon, a carbon full of fire for his kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. I seal this word with the blood of the Lamb and I glorify his holy name and him alone. He takes all the glory. I am just an empty vessel. Without him, I will not be able to do this. Believe me, it's only him, through him, with him, and in him that I'm able to be here talking to you today. <laughs> in Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I seal you in the blood of the Lamb. That covenant that breaks all assignments of hell in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you.